Greetings all, the Devious Monkey here. Today, kind of all over the place, all kinds of stuff going on. I just had a company Zoom call, you know, really late in the day, and my tummy hurts today, which is a thousand times worse than my spine hurting. I'm a big fat baby when I get a stomach ache, so this is gonna be a quick video. What I wanna talk about is crossing the streams. What do I mean by that? Well, you know, in Ghostbusters, we're like, do just absolutely do not cross the streams, you know, destruction, so on and so forth. And how this pertains to what I want to talk about in the YouTube world is different interests. When I first started doing this, I had no idea what I wanted to do and where I wanted to go. I just, I just wanted to shoot films and, and you know, do cool things, but I didn't really know what I wanted to present. I didn't know what part of my melon I wanted to put out in the world. I mean, at one time, had I actually had the gear and the time to do it, I might have ended up being a gun channel for all I know. And then it could have been a gear review channel, or it could have been an electronics channel, or it could have been a fitness channel, or it could have been strictly about being a disabled veteran, or, you know, and on and on and on and on. The one thing that I know that I didn't want to do was create multiple channels. It was tough enough to get up the oomph to do this channel and to sort of get it into a direction and, and focus on, on just the creation. But I have friends that have multiple channels for you know whatever that particular niche is or their interest is and all that kind of stuff and it just goes to show that maybe I don't know what I'm doing or is it that the landscape has changed now because if you watch videos like I do or it's, it's all I do you'll see so much conflicting advice People will say, absolutely, you know, just start creating, just start putting videos up there, start building a following, you know, just get better at creating and editing and so on and so forth. And, and then eventually, once you build a base, then you can start branching off and maybe putting different things out there. But in my little melon, I'm thinking to myself, well, how am I supposed to build a base if I don't know what direction I want to go in or what I want to do? I mean, what if all I talked about were guns and knives and all that kind of stuff. I'm gonna get a certain amount of people that are gonna, you know, that's how I'm gonna build myself. And then all of a sudden I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna talk about crocheting because I like to do that too. Then who of my base is gonna give a shit about that and wanna watch it? So I, like, I don't get that advice about just, you know, just start creating. It's kind of tough because most channels that are successful uh, at least I think, perhaps you can show me differently, but most popular channels, I guess I should say, and not necessarily successful, but popular channels, they've got a path. They talk about whatever it is they talk about, and it has a central theme involved in it. When it gets right down to it, I'm curious to know what you guys think. Do you, or would you, or will you, create different channels for different interests, so to speak, or do you think that you should stick with one channel and you know do whatever you're doing, and then as time goes by, start adding those different aspects that go down those different roads. I even had a problem when I was creating all my videos of what heading to choose. You know, was it a vlog? Was it a tech review? Is it, a, is it a lifestyle? You know, like I didn't know what to do. So I've pretty much just always stuck it under the, the general vlog category because I mean, theoretically, uh, that's what I feel like I'm doing. I'm daily vlogging. I just happen to talk about gear a lot because that's what excites me. And I buy so much of it that it just made sense to just say vlog because I mean, obviously not every day do I review gear or do I show you about something that I have or something that I tried or something that I built. Sometimes I'm just walking around bitching and moaning about stuff or driving in my forerunner, you know? So I just pretty much figured that I would keep it as a vlog channel and just throw whatever the hell I want in there. And if you watch it, you watch it. And if you don't, you don't. 
probably not the best path for success, <laughs> you know, because I don't, I don't really have a direction that I'm going in other than I'm just vlogging and I'm talking about the stuff that I like. Now, as I continue to go down that road, it really has turned into more of a photography, videography based channel. Again, because that's my passion. That's what I like to do. And, you know, now that I'm going to be getting, you know, new gear for this new opportunity that may be coming, I'm really stoked to get back into photography. And I have mentioned that before in some of my other videos that I have spent the last year concentrating on the video aspect that I have completely pretty much dropped off the radar when it comes to photography. That all changes because I'm going to be ordering new gear this week and th then I'm going to start doing that a lot more. So even though I'm getting gear that isn't, I mean, uh, it is brand new, but it isn't brand new to the market, I'm still going to be doing reviews. So I'm going to be talking about my experiences with this Sony a7R 4 I'm going to be talking about my experiences with the Sigma 85 1.4 and the 100 to 400 and you know whatever else I get as time goes by and you know even doing some more behind the scenes as I go out and do photos because I'm gonna have to learn how to be a photographer again because I haven't really done that much of it in so long everything's been video centric so okay just sort of a rambling video but with a with a central theme of what do you do how do you do it what should you do what shouldn't you do you know i don't know what are you guys doing you guys that have channels out there or that want to create channels what have you heard what do you think is the most successful way of doing that and, and keep in mind I, I have said all along that i'm not doing this to get you know like a massive 10 million following and get brand deals and all that kind of shit. i'm just doing what i really like to do and i'm trying to share that with people and hopefully i can help someone along the way but some people are definitely in this to try to get to 10 million and, and become a Mr. Beast and, and become a Casey Neistat and a Peter McKinnon and all that kind of stuff. So, I don't know. Let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments. As always, thanks for joining me. Like, subscribe, and all that shit. And remember, kids, forward and up.